Hey fellas, it's uh, Zem from Shrey Gaming, and I'm actually doing a review on the ME209 V4. This is a tier 5 uh, fighter plane. Uh, this is actually the very first premium plane I ever bought in this game, and I actually bought this shortly after this game came out of uh, testing, uh, thinking I was actually going to play the game, but that, you know, took that hiatus for two years before, almost three years before I came back to actually play the game. So what is the ME209 V4? Uh, other than the fact, uh, well, let's, do, let's go through the history. Uh, this aircraft um, was essentially a uh, racing plane uh, that actually set the world's record uh, at 469 miles an hour. And I believe that was in 1930, yeah, 1939. Uh, it set the it set the world record for uh, for the speed. Uh, this was actually uh, it had a, another name. The BF one hundred and nine R was a propaganda tool used by the Germans uh, by giving that name to it. It, it kind of gave the BF one hundred and nine the regular BF one hundred and nine kind of a okay. Wow, this airplane hit you know four hundred sixty nine miles an hour. Uh, the BF-109, you know, uh, was that really that fast? So it was kind of like I said, more of a propaganda tool uh, used by the Nazis, at least in the late 30s, uh, early 40s. You know, obviously before the Battle of Britain uh, started, uh, you know, it was kind of kind of to scare uh, the British into thinking just how fast the BF-109s were. Even though this plane had nothing to do with the BF-109 series, other than the fact they shared an engine. I, I mean, that was literally it. Uh, the race version, uh, which was known as the BF-109 V1, uh, was, in fact, uh, was in, was a very was a was solely just built for uh, the speed run. So, uh, in that sense, the the wings were actually uh, essentially cooling uh, for this massive engine. And when they went to um, the game, the one obviously the plane that we have in game is called the V4. Uh, they, in fact, used uh, with that with that cooling system in the wings. They were forced to put the uh, they were only able to mount two machine guns in the cowling uh, of, of this aircraft. And doing so, it, it became the ME209 V4. And essentially, there was no difference between the the V1 and the V4. Uh, except for, the, of course, the two machine guns. And uh, in doing so, adding the weight to the aircraft, uh, it actually, you know, uh, essentially uh, overloaded the plane uh, to the point where it was slower than the, the, the BF-109s that were already in service. So uh, it, it didn't really uh, improve the aircraft at all. So the, essentially, this was kind of just a one-off aircraft. I mean, it was you know a flight technology demonstrator, uh, race plane. Um, you know that that's what it was used for. Uh, by the end of the war, uh, I, I don't believe there was actually more than one of these built that I could actually find uh, any reference to. Um, there was a couple, if I remember right. Uh, attempts afterwards by using the same name. This is actually the 209 V1, the one we we're talking about right now. Uh, you know, the, the speed record that is set at 469 miles an hour stood for almost 30 years until it was broke by a Bearcat in 1969. So, uh, very fast aircraft, right? And, uh, it, it, and, and by changing its, its name, it was, you know, essentially convinced uh, other nations that the record uh, had been gained by a variant of that BF-109 series. So, uh, you know, interesting aircraft. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, that's pretty amazing when you think about that uh, that speed at that at, at that time. So, uh, the V-4 mounted the machine guns. Um, it didn't work out so hot. Now, later on in the war, uh, the the uh, Germans actually did, and, and in a sense. Uh, try to do something similar with the 109 series and and that is, is that this was actually called the me 209 v5 or the me 209 2 which is the fighter prototype this is the image of it uh, this they installed a honking 
uh, heavy bomber engine in it. I think it was a, a well over 200, 2,000 horsepower. Uh, unfortunately, with the changes to the, with the engines and all that stuff, this thing ended up actually being slower than the newest newest versions of the BF 109, and uh, didn't uh, progress any further past uh, the prototype stage with this massive engine. So, you know, so the names, you know, you read the names, ME209, uh, there was, a, you know, like I said, a couple different versions. You had the, the, the V1, the V4, and then obviously the V5. So I, I, so it, it's, it's kind of confusing uh, unless you do a little research and look it all up. So uh, the V4 that we have in game, uh, which is also mounted with the two 7.62s, or 7.92s, I'm sorry, and, but it also gets a 20 millimeter through the hub. I'm not sure this must be a wargaming thing, obviously, uh, to put uh, that in there. So, it, you know, makes it a little more interesting. Uh, as a Tier 5 uh, fighter, uh, with that lineup of, of, of machine gun and, and the one cannon, makes it a little underwhelming for Tier 5. It's It doesn't have much punch, you know, and with the fact that it is the speed demon that it is uh it does not it, it's not a turning it's not a horizontal fighter it doesn't turn with a shit i mean this is like a flying brick almost so uh essentially when you, when the gameplay for this thing is, is once again a more of a vertical fighter energy fighter uh it has a very good boost uh, tier five for a fighter uh very fast uh you know uh, on the flat uh, and essentially you have to play that uh, that way. So, uh, you know, I play this, ten, you know, I, and I don't play this a bunch. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, I just happened to the one day to think, oh, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do a, a video on this plane. Uh, you know, it's more of a nibbler, uh, finishing off low health uh, aircraft, you know, climb to altitude uh, and, and essentially drop, take off a chunk of health of whatever you're doing, and then uh, exit out the other side gain altitude and repeat over and over again. Uh, I do use this one and you watch in the video. Uh, I do like to get in behind uh, heavy fighters with it. Uh, it does take a while, especially with this uh, rather anemic firepower, but it, you know, it'll does, it does the job. Um, uh, like I said, the video I'll show you is uh, me essentially just playing the, as much vertical as I can, you know, up and down and uh, using this boost, you know, so this is a 20 second boost on it which is about five more than the rest of the uh, fighters at this tier. You know, it doesn't quite have the boost of, obviously, the heavy fighters at tier, but, uh, you know, it's getting up there. So uh, uh, playing it as a speed demon, you know, you know you're dropping in and uh, just using the sheer uh, speed of this airplane as much as you can. So, uh, you know, like I said, remember that you're not... <laughs> You're not really a, f a fighter fighter. You're not going to maneuver. Uh, this is just a straight arrow, down, shoot, back out again, get up to altitude, turn around, go back down again. Uh, I mean, they, that's what it does. Uh, does fairly well too. So, all right. So I'm going to bring up the gameplay for you guys to check out and uh, and see what you guys think of it. It, it. You know, in my opinion, it's probably the weakest tier five. Uh, of the of the premium planes, especially the fighters, uh, I enjoy it. You know, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of games in it, uh, but when I do play it, it's always a riot because it's amazing how fast this thing can get up uh, to speed and, and how well how well it climbs. So uh, I'm going to bring you guys the gameplay here right about now. Hey guys, uh, Zen back with the replay on the 209 uh, V4. Um, yeah, this is a pretty shitty day so far. Uh, <laughs> it took me a while to get a win in this thing, and. Uh, you know, and I, in the garage, I said about the, the anemic firepower, and it, 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 is, it is just that, too. You know, most energy fighters have, uh, or even, even the heavy fighters, have a, a fair amount of firepower. So when they do make a pass, you know, there there is, uh, you can do quite a bit of damage with them. You know, they usually have a high caliber uh, uh, cannons and whatnot. Uh, this one, with just the single... Uh, 20 millimeter and just the two 7.92s, uh, yeah, it's it, it, it's so much a nibbler it almost becomes uh, pathetic, really. Uh, and, you know, in my opinion, that's probably the, easily the weakest tier five premium. Uh, maybe not even maybe even the most weak, the 
weakest tier 5 uh, plane uh, because of this firepower. And you'll watch in this video, it's uh, the amount of passes you have to make on aircraft uh, to really uh, nibble out stuff uh, or really actually do an extensive amount of damage. Uh, but like I said in the earlier in the video in the garage, uh, great boost. You know, I've already boosted up to 9,000 feet uh, fairly easily. Um, you know, me I run a, uh, the radiator on in here, uh, so my boost is uh, usually building pretty quick here. And uh, I typically in this plane as much as I can. I I, I prefer to go after um, the uh, heavy fighters as much as I can. Um, in this sense, I got to also be with BF 109. F, uh, which is a tier 6, uh, he's going to try to play the altitude games with me, which isn't an easy thing uh, with this thing. So you see he stalled out, come in for a sweep. Um, once again, that firepower is just, it makes it so much more difficult with this thing to uh, really uh, do damage when you do get a shot. Uh, P-40 stalls out, gets into him, gives a nice little pass on him, uh, back up. Still have the 109F still on my butt. Uh, you know, that's what happens when they stick the bots on you constantly. Um, but pull over, uh, waiting for my boost to rebuild. Comes in on the 40. He's stalled out. Uh, like I said, altitude fighter, it, 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 it works excellent. You know, when I mean altitude fighter, I mean anything above 8,000 feet. You know, here I'm sitting right around 10, uh, boosting up and down. So, uh, as a vertical fighter, you know, this is this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, you know, the ability to uh, keep that altitude, keep that boost um, always ready so you can boost up out of this stuff. Uh, 109, uh, he's pulling around, uh, trying to get around on him, trying to knock out some planes because we're actually hemorrhaging fighters quickly here. Uh, I could have followed him down, but uh, once again, once this thing gets below about 5,000 feet, uh, it really suffers. So uh, I'm just simply trying to play the uh, peaky pokey or the uh, zoom and boom as much as I can, staying up as high as I can, uh, coming around, coming around, uh, trying to pick fighters out. Uh, you do see me start dropping here just because most of the enemy planes are at that level and I kind of have to stay there. So uh, I'm back here again on the um, heavy fighters, uh, trying to uh, put at least a little bit of damage into them. Um, you know, we're kind of making a comeback right here, but, you know, as you've watched so far with this, uh, once again, just, I, I don't know how to say it, almost pathetic amount of firepower that this thing has. Uh, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of damage, you know, some of these passes because of, uh, with the 120, with the 120 millimeter and the, the two 7.92s, it just doesn't put it out. So, you know, this is something that you're not want to go head to head with uh, a lot of planes because of that. Um, you know, we're down to uh, pretty much even right now. Uh, I'm going to try to knock this bow fighter out. Uh, it's going to take me a little while with this guns, uh, but uh, you know, dead planes are, are, are good. So get in behind the bow fighter, start pummeling him. Uh, I should have kind of probably laid up a little bit on here, let the 20 mil 20 millimeters. Uh, cool up a little bit, uh, but I'm almost looking at those other two red players over there uh, that are shortly going to be coming my way, so uh, I really wanted to knock this guy out as fast as I could. Uh, and then, that's some of the problem with this subplane also, too, with the speed on it. Uh, you really have to keep the speed down, especially when you're dealing with these heavy fighters. Uh, when you catch them, not um, not uh, boosting. Uh, you know, they're, they're relatively slow. So get in on the Yak-9, knock him out before he nails my E-410. Uh, um, get up, get some altitude, uh, try to knock out this uh, last IL-2, who's been playing uh, essentially is a really slow heavy fighter. Uh, he's already he's already down to himself. So get three, uh, pull back up, come back down on him. Um, I'm getting a little reckless here, and you'll see why, because uh, I, I almost... Like I said, I, I don't play this plane a whole lot, and my win rate has pretty much went to shit after this day because of trying to get a, a decent video or a decent game in this uh, plane. Um, so you'll see me pull a, a real donk move here uh, trying to get this IL-2. And, and that's more just the sense of this, like I said before earlier, the uh, maneuverability on this plane is absolute garbage and uh, essentially a flying brick. It 
does not uh, perform well uh, when you get low. Um, so this under a thousand feet down, uh, you know, is obviously uh, you'll you'll see here what I'm talking about. Come in on the uh, alley aisle two, get a little too much, and I slam into the water. <laughs> right? What am I supposed to do? Yeah. So uh, makes it interesting. Yeah. So I I, I really dunked that one. Um, that, that was entirely my own fault. Uh, you know, you get used to playing some planes that are just, you know, a little bit more maneuverable where I would have pulled that out of there. But uh, this one is, like I said, literally like flying a brick. Uh, there is not a whole lot of, uh, yeah, no, not a whole lot of lift. <laughs> really good up and down. Um, suffers uh, at any point that you actually have to turn this plane. So uh, I won't bore you with the rest of it. Uh, this game actually ended up uh, the uh, bot... Uh, 410 ends up killing the uh, IL-2, and uh, we end up winning the game. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little bit more of these uh, videos with warplanes, at least. Uh, obviously, most of you guys that watch the channel know that I'm uh, more of a tanker player, uh, warship kind of guy. So, uh, but you know, I'm going to try to do a little content uh, for warplanes as well. So, uh, you guys have a good night, and I will see you later.